No pop and circumstance, no tossing of caps in the air. It was a no frills graduation of this year's seniors at St. Augustine High School, but it was an in person actual commencement ceremony. There was nothing virtual about this evening's celebration. And you'll go in one way, and your parents can stay behind the cone and take a picture from back there while you're on stage. They wrapped up their high school education in groups of 10. These seniors at St. Augustine High, now graduates. Welcome to 2020 graduation celebration. First day for today, Carl, Louie, Acosta. With the stadium scoreboard all lit up with 2020, there was no music, no commencement speeches, but no one seemed to care. They're just thrilled to have made it. But I am so glad I got to finally get to the point where I graduate and it was worth the work, worth all the hard work and it pays off. So I'm really happy. <laughs> I expected to have like a normal graduation, have a normal senior year, you know. We didn't really get to say bye to our friends, but everyone's trying to make it up and it's it's been a ride. It's better than not having a graduation ceremony at all because it was really sad to hear that we weren't going to have any and now that they're actually pulled something together for us to actually be able to walk the stage and get our diploma makes it a lot better. They walked the stage and received their diplomas, got an elbow bump with the principal and a photo then exited the stage and got pictures with friends and family. I mean, I'm happy to be here, but I kind of wish it was like an actual graduation with like everyone and not having to do groups. But I mean, it is it is nice to actually have something to celebrate the seniors. Uh, it's nice that they're actually doing something instead of just giving us a pat on in the back and doing a video. This year's valedictorian is eager to head to Embry University to major in epidemiology for the Centers for Disease Control, a plan before coronavirus derailed this senior year. Yeah, the pandemic sort of solidified the career goal. It was very crazy with the pandemic from the online schooling and everything, but I still push forward to make it happen. And I'm here today and I get to walk with my classmates, so it's still an exciting feeling at the end. Congratulations. And St. John's County is also in the spotlight in Channel 4's celebration of this year's graduating seniors. Yeah, we're proud to partner with High School 912 and we're bringing you Brightest and Best, presented by Community First Credit Union. This weekend, we're featuring Creekside High School. That's Saturday at 3.30, followed on Sunday, starting at 4, with St. John's Virtual and then St. John's Technical Schools. Uh, next weekend, Bartram Trail High School will get its time to shine at 3 p.m. That's Saturday, June 27th, and then Ponte Vedra High takes center stage June 28th at 4 p.m. If you have family out of town or if you've missed your school, watch all the shows by going to news4jacks.com graduation.